The Varangi in short film was inspired and based on historical and cultural aspects of the Vikings. The film itself expresses many factors of Viking culture, such as religious beliefs, symbols and warfare. Religion was a massive part of Viking life. They expressed their faith through sacrifice to the gods and personal religious objects like amulets or rune stones. For example, many Vikings would wear a Thor's hammer pendant around their neck. The hammer was meant to keep them close to Thor for strength and protection. Rune stones were another important part of Viking life. They would carve symbols into stones, pieces of wood and even their own weapons. These symbols had many different meanings, many of them to do with the gods and also to give them protection and to please the gods. Warfare was probably one of the most important aspects of the Viking world, next to the gods. Fighting in battle could earn you fame or a route to Valhalla. If you were brave in battle, then you had a good chance of being noticed by the gods. The Varangian short film follows a young Varangian warrior wounded from a rebellion on his last journey. But who really were the Varangians? The Varangians were a group of Vikings who between the 9th and 11th centuries ruled the medieval states of Kievian Rus. They settled among many territories of modern Belarus, Russia and Ukraine. They also formed the infamous Byzantine Varangian Guard. A group of Varangians known as the Rus settled in Novgorod in the year 862 under the leadership of Rurik. However, as referenced at the start of my short film, in the year 862, a combined group of Finnic and Slavic tribes rebelled against their Varangian rulers, driving them back overseas to Scandinavia. This is the starting point for my short film. However, not long after the Varangians left, they were invited back to rule over the Slavic and Finnic tribes. The tribes had begun to fight between each other, so inviting the Varangians to come back created peace and order. Again, led by Rurik and his brothers Turov and Sinus, the invited Varangians settled around the town of Holmgard, also known as Novgorod. After this, the Varangians began to establish an empire, conquering Kiev. The descendants of Rurik also later on established the Tsardom of Russia. The Varangians were even a part of the Byzantine army and personal bodyguards of the Byzantine emperors from the 10th to the 14th centuries. They were known as the Varangian Guard. For the first hundred years, the Varangian Guard was composed mainly of Scandinavians. However, the Guards increasingly included Anglo-Saxons after the successful Norman conquest of England. The Varangian short film is only a small segment of the immense history of the Varangians, so I hope this documentary has given you a bit more of an insight into how the short film was formed.